uh, welcome everybody to this uh, webinar for uh, we're going to speak about our parking systems as well as an uh, integration with a uh, gate arms um uh gar pt and gar px which are our new models for kami gate operators i have uh, larry mandy and angelic thank you very much all right let's move forward now let's let's get the show started well thank you very much for taking the time to to join us here in this presentation today uh my name is jose guillen i will be your host today for this uh webinar on parking systems and our gate operators gar pt and gar px so let's go over here. As you all know, um, we're Cam Americas, located about 30, 30 minutes north of uh, the Miami airport. Um, we, from, from this office, we basically manage all North America, Caribbean, Central America, with the exception of Mexico, and South America, with the exception of Brazil, because we have business units fully working on those areas. From here, we can offer you sales and support for the following products, parking systems, gate arms, uh, uh, tone styles, uh, we have here uh, sliding, but also swing operators, bowlers, and intercoms. Uh, right now, we have about, as you all know, we are about, you know, we have about 480 subsidiaries around the world and 118 different countries. We have about 26 different trading companies. This number were up, so it's actually, it has gone up. We have about 16, 1,700 employees around the world. We have uh, seven manufacturing plants that just happened. We have, uh, as you all know, we have uh, Kami also, which is our turnstile in uh, borders as well as uh, road blockers factory located in Turkey. And then we have one fully dedicated company to the service area. Here showing you basically what I just mentioned before. We have Kami, which is our parent group uh, located in Treviso, Italy. This is basically the parent home for all the different groups that we have over here. Here we manufacture basically is where all of our R&D is located and from here we manufacture gate operators and we manufacture the uh, gate arms and all the access control part of the of our product line we also have the kami bpt which is our um our video intercom uh division we have anything from you know we can we can offer solutions from from single house to a uh, multiple apartments and multiple buildings and multiple users uh needs right Camerobaco. Camerobaco is our boiler uh, division located in France. We can offer anything from decoration boilers to high security boilers. They go up, just to give you an idea on high security, they can stop a, a vehicle, a truck, actually a seven and a half ton truck traveling at 80 kilometers per hour. And we have we have uh, certified products to do, to do this. Kame Parquet, which we're going to be talking about today, is our is our parking division. We have anything from on street, which are those parking meters. Uh, those that's called the on street solution. But we also have the off street solution, which is those uh, the parking systems located, like for example, on an airport or mall. Those that's what we call the off uh, street solution. Kame Go is uh, basically uh, our division dedicated to manufacturing garage doors and sectional doors, not only for the residentials, but also for industrial, for the industrial side. And like I mentioned, Kami Alsak is our uh, new acquisition, and this is a turnstile factory located in Turkey. Not only they, 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 they fabricate turnstiles, but also they fabricate road blockers and uh, as well as uh, ballers. Uh, one thing that I was gonna mention, uh, please everybody, can you can you hear me? Can you hear Angelique? I saw a message over here. Can you hear me now? Can everybody hear me? All right. Let's just keep going. Okay, that's in regards of our our different divisions. Uh, just a little bit about Park Care. Uh, like I said before, is uh is our division you know leader in developing, fabricating, producing on street and off street parking system. We have a worldwide network. We are located all over the world, the world, in America, Europe, Asia. So we have locations pretty much around the world, like I said. Uh, also on, not only on the off street, but also on the on street um, division. And we also have a guidance systems. And these have, these have been installed for over 60,000 parking spaces. That's how you measure this type of, of success in this product line. 
uh, in our strengths, we can see actually, uh, we can just mention basically, let's just go, go really quick over these different, uh, as you can see over here, the different strengths. We can actually, we're very proud of our R&D department, which actually is one of the, 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 core, the core of the business. We, we are very proud of offering a product that can customize to any solution that you might have out there. Uh, we have a uh, uh, after sales department completely dedicated not only to go and visit your site, well, that's in Barcelona, Spain, where they have the where we have the main office. They have a not only they have a remote support area which they can log into pretty much any parking lot around the world that we have or we've Africa fabricated and offer you direct support. But also in Barcelona, they have a, a what they call level one support, which different groups they actually go to the site and and pick the parking lots themselves in case they, they need uh, service, right? Uh, also over here, we have a, we have direct, direct presence on Spain, Mexico, Chile, UK, and Peru, and also right here in the US. So we have a parking system to install over here in the US. In our team, as you can see, well, we have a, a huge uh, part of our, our, the par our structure is basically located in our customer service, which is the after sale. We, we, we care a lot about the after sale part of the product. So not only selling you the parking lot, but also is keeping it up and running, helping you out to perhaps uh, uh, help you to to succeed any any problem that you might find on the way. Also, the R and D department, as you can see, we have a seventeen percent of our of our, of our employees are based on the R and D department. Like I said, we take a lot of pride on, on making a product. Um, Custom, uh, customized to any solution that you that you uh, client might have. Again, our mission is, is mobility as an opportunity to serve our society. So basically, our mission is to provide you with uh, you know the most advanced technological solution for any mobilities in your city. So that's basically how you know and how do we do that improvement? Um, well, of course, technology and innovation and customer service. Now. This I'm gonna do a lot of emphasis over here. The key, these key factors over here. So we see uh, basically this would be the the logical way to develop a uh, parking project. Now we need your help, a lot of your help on this area over here, the feasibility of the study. Why? Because from right right here is that is, is the area where we start asking all the questions to our customers. So, Mr. Customer, how do you visualize your solution? Do you see they normally tell you, well, I just want an entry and next in a pay system. Okay, that's that's great. That's all we want. You know, the bigger the better. However, Mr. Customer, what would you like to have on those entry unit, on that exit unit? Would you like to have an intercom that when you push a button, you can call somebody? Would you like a camera that will take a picture of the person that is actually pressing the button for that ticket? Would you like to have a, an LPR camera that will read the license plate on the vehicle that's accessing the premises? So there's a lot of questions that we have to make in this area. Also, another question that, you know, you, would you like to integrate with a, uh, let's say, for example, it's going to be a, a business center, right? And they want to offer the opportunity, they want to charge parking to the employees. So would you like to integrate the parking system with a, uh, with your, uh, how do you call it, with your, uh, the, the payment system of your, of your company. So in that way, you can deduct directly from the payroll, the parking payment. So there's a lot of things that we have to ask why, because we need to speak to these guys over here, right? To make sure that the this feasibility is doable. So if these guys over here in the development and in, in, in engineering, they say, yes, we can do it. However, that's gonna take X amount of hours and X amount of programming, you know, job. So I have a cost. So when they provide us with the time and cost, we come over here and we tell Mr. Customer, all right, Mr. Customer, um, it's gonna cost X amount of money to provide you with the solution that you actually are requesting. So if Mr. Customer say yes, we send the information to development and engineering, they have to work their magic. They make the, uh, the system work, then they manufacture it, install, and then we you know take care of the customer by providing an excellent after service on not only on on you know maintenance and helping out the equipment to be good but also on the spare parts in case they need it they need it again this is a very very important situation i'm going to give you an example i'm not talking a little bit too much but i just it's always good to provide you examples so we're, we were we were having a conversation with a customer who wanted something basic something extremely basic a parking system 
super basic. Now, you know, we decided, you know, we're going to go with a super basic product line that we have, which is a PS3000. We're going to, and actually I'm going to invite you right now. I'm going to say about the next two weeks, we're going to have a webinar dedicated to this type of uh, parking system, but that's a completely different subject. But anyways, with the conversation with the, with the customer, uh, you know, everything was pointing towards a, uh, a very basic parking system. However, in one point of the conversation, they mentioned something, oh, because we're going to have five different rates at the same time. So that, that right there, that little comment that the customer made, made us, you know, we stopped the conversation, we told the customer, we told the customer, Mr. Customer, we won't be able to work with the PS3000. We have to go with something higher, more technologically advanced that will allow us to do this, this type of need that you have. Can you imagine if the customer didn't make that comment? We offered the super basic system and it turns out that, oh, I, I want to implement now, I want to implement five different rates. So that would have been a big problem because now we sold the customer a solution that wasn't good enough for he needs his needs so that's why we have to ask a lot of questions and you know don't think of any question as a, as, a, as a dumb question no 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 always 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 let's ask tons of questions any for you know this this mod, it might seem small but it might change the whole ballpark of the game the way you know we're talking about over here all right let's move forward enough of the stories let's talk about customer service basically in the structure that we the parker currently has we have a repair of network people, N2, which is the guys that are, you know, sitting in these computers, they're able to log into any parking lot around the world and provide support directly to your, to your parking lot itself. I mean, basically on the software side of it, in case they have a problem, they can always go into R&D department and try to figure out the solution, right? So uh, all these requests, whether it's for spare parts, uh, level one support, those are the guys that go out on the field and they fix, you know, the problems on site. All these different requests, they're concentrated into our CRM system. system or our contact center. So in that way, they are able to distribute the calls on the, you know, on the right direction so we can be more accurate and in fact, keeping track of every single request that we get into the factory. Uh, basically, a customer, say, uh, customer service and maintenance, what do we offer? You know, we basically take care of all of our system. It's a 24 seven service. Of course, you have to pay for the right package in order to get that type of service. Otherwise, it will be a shift, uh, 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 uh service provided within the you know regular uh, hours uh, in this case we here we we can provide field service but in your case you'll be the full ser field, field service for for your customer or actually for our customer because that'll be our, that will be our customer uh, as well but uh, you will be the first contact we will do the, the remote um support for you and then you know we have customer uh, we have a spare parts and, and consumables uh with the remote uh with a remote login, we can actually help you out to do that. Anyways, we have all these different features that, you know, in our, in our customer service area that will, you know, help you out to have a successful operation. Now, let's talk about our two off street product line. And we're going to show you right now, we're going to show you what's the PKE and the PKM. So we have right here, they have the PKM, the medium end line, and we have the PKE, which is the high end line. As you can see, uh, first side, you can tell the difference right away. Uh, one is more, let's say, elegant than the other one. Um, basically, on the PKE line, we have two different styles for the entry and exit unit. And, and the entry and exit, exactly. So what do I mean with that? Basically, you see this unit right here. This is right here. This is an entry unit. You see, this is, it's, this is what we call the slim unit, and this is a regular unit. What's the difference between one and the other one? As you can see right here, you see these three little squares over here. That's the space to install a credit card reader. So we can install credit card readers here for the credit card in, credit card out, or perhaps to make payments on exit. So that's the main difference between, you know, the, the regular and the slim. But on, uh, talking about these two, as you can see right away, is basically the, the appearance on between these two. Uh, entry units on the PKE could have two printers. We can have a redundancy. So if one printer breaks, the other one takes over. While in the PKM, it's just one printer. Um, what else is screens? You can see the screens are bigger. We have a we actually a TFT screen over here, seven inches. It could be actually you could have the option to have a touchless if you wish. But in this case, we only have an LCD display on each unit, whether it's entry or exit. So that's that's the main. Um, one of the main difference between these two parking product lines. Uh, let's talk about highlights of, of our both uh, product lines. They can actually cloud-based. 
which could be remotely attended, uh, whether if you have somebody on site or somebody can log in, whether you have the, the um, Lindsay cloud option or if you have uh, tools, tools like uh, TeamViewer log me, you can actually log in into the server and you know either print out reports, take care of any situation that might arise. So anyways, we offer the option for, for both, either log in or, or local remote uh, login. Um, open web customer integration, in other words, that if you need to integrate with a third party uh, application, let's say, I don't know, like a administrative software from a third party that, you know, runs your entire operation and you want to get report from our, from our Lindsay uh, software, we can actually integrate into that. We provide you with either web services or, app, or APIs so, or APIs. So in that way you can, you know, uh, have your programmer doing the, the pulling the right information. So we have top performance and reliability. Um, so the systems are, you know, pretty much all the time up. Um, we can offer a cloud-based server or we can do an, a local service. So another thing that a lot of customers are doing right now is basically the normal, they, they could get a local server and perhaps do a, uh, do a get a virtual machine and then perhaps get this uh, this software and uh, get the server on a virtual on a, on a virtual machine so in that way you can have redundancy you have not your, your local server they want the computer system but also you could have a, a redundant server based on this uh, virtual machine and then uh, okay based on that redundancy so you can you know uh, time saved by car parks uh, staff due to redundancy that's one of the features another common feature for the uh, for the automatic pay station, so you can have multi different pay, ways of pay, whether it's cash, credit, or a combination of both. Um, they can also work as a manual cashier. Again, the manual cashier is the person operating the the, cash, the, the cashier. In this case, it's fully automated. We can sell purchase uh, purchase back purchase back in product. Like in other words, you can actually have people buying. Uh, subscriber card, subscriber card. For example, if you get a, you can get a proximity card from the main office and go to the automated pay station and recharge your card. So basically, you'll be paying either a monthly fee or adding some 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 value to this card. So every time that you go in and out of the premises, you just show your card, and that could be either debited of your from your account or perhaps if you pay a monthly fee, well, you don't have to worry about that that amount that they're gonna they're gonna be taking out of your your um your card a uh, park and get discounts uh, for products and services basically you could buy let's say for example if you have one of these space stations installed in a mall you could actually buy i don't know maybe buy a ticket for a movie a car wash or something like that so as long as we have the integration made also for parking use of promotions uh you could have like somebody if they give you a voucher you can actually go back to the to the base station and you know get a voucher because you ate on this restaurant and and so forth so we can we can use the promotions on, on different ways the offline uh working that's basically if for some reason the server goes down or the communication between the the different devices say entry unit exit unit and server it goes down um these units are capable or keep on functioning keep on working so they have a way to identify whether or not that entry unit belongs to the same place where they're installed, you can actually get that ticket, go to an automated pay station. The automated pay station will be able to calculate that fee that you have to pay. It will provide you with a new receipt so that within, in that receipt, you get a, a QR code. With a QR code, you can actually go out to the exit unit and you can actually, you know, the system will know that, okay, you were in our premises. You pay your ticket so you can leave the premises now. So this is in case that we lose, uh, the, the system loses communication. So we can actually, we can perfectly work through that uh, issue. And then I believe, I'm gonna say it's between anything between two and 5,000 uh, transactions that have a, a memory to, to, to mem I think it's, I think it's 2,000 transactions. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with 2,000 just to be safe, but I, I'm, I'm debating right now whether, we, whether it's 2,000 uh, 2, or 5,000 a transaction that the system can memorize. That's in case of the offline working. And then the energy saving on the pay stations, uh, they actually have a person, uh, like a human detection mechanism. So in that way, if there's nobody close to the unit, the, the unit goes on, on an idle mode, you're gonna uh, saving energy mode. So in that way, you know, you don't spend that much energy on your, 
on your parking um, on your parking installations. Uh, can anybody else hear me out there? Because I'm getting a message that one of our attendees cannot hear me. Can anybody just reply? Quick reply. I'm getting okay, Mandy. Thank you. So perhaps Angeline may be having an issue with the microphone. Angeline, would you mind? Um, thank you, Diane. Uh, Angelique, I don't know if you can hear us or not. There might be an issue with the microphone or your speaker over there. So that's that's the feedback that I'm getting here. Anyways, uh, we can also set up welcoming screens. We have an option for multi-parking management. In other words, we can have, uh, okay, thank you. Uh, on the multi-parking section, we can have actually say, for example, you're Mr. Operator, you're Mr. Mr. Operator, and you have, uh, or Mr. Owner of the parking lot, and you have five parking lots in the same city. So if you have our system installed in your different five parking lots, you can actually be on the comfort of your house, actually managing a, every single one of your unit of, of your parking from one single computer. So we have the we have the capability to provide you that a multi parking management under one monitor under one station. Um, Toolless, in other words, the system has been designed to, if you need to replace a board, if you need to replace a loop or, or any of the part that could go bad, the system is designed to basically that you won't need any tool to be able to remove any of these uh, parts that go bad. Turbo, fun turbo function. That's basically, let's say, for example, if there's a concert on this location and you need to let people in really, really, really fast, if we enable the turbo, turbo function, as basically every time that somebody pulls out a ticket, a new ticket is being printed now. So it's just ticket after ticket, ticket after ticket. So in that way, you don't keep people pressing a button, waiting for the ticket, gate open. No, in this case, the gate will open. And then every time that a person pulls out the ticket, a new ticket is being printed now. So in that way, the access to the area is much faster. Uh, security certifications, right here we have our IP or I IK and also this S1 certification, which is related to you know, how strong we are to 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 uh, not being able somebody to break in and, and take the money away in this case. And of course, the BBA and ADA standards. So we are, you know, friendly to people with disabilities. Our system, of, you know, at least our, our pay stations are, you know, friendly to people with disability. Let's talk about the high-end line, which is the PKE. Right here, we see two different colors. We have the, the, the yellow and gray and the dark gray and, and and light gray, these are the red colors, the standard red color for them. As I mentioned before, we have two different types of uh, entry and exit unit, which is the slim unit and the regular. Showed you before, we have the, on the entry unit, we can have two printers, which basically provide us with redundancy. So if one printer breaks, the other one takes over. And if you filled up both printers with paper, you, we can actually have 6,000 ticket, 6, tickets Per row. So in this case, if you have both tickets right here, you can have uh, twelve thousand tickets uh, in total. And you make sure that if one if one row goes out, the next printer will take over, and you should be able to uh, to you know to have your system up and running. Let's say, for example, if you have a parking system with one entry. I highly advise, I always highly advise to get this this uh, this entry unit with uh, with dual printing. Because imagine on a busy day or a Saturday night. Your printer goes back, so you know Saturday night you're gonna have people coming to your lot because you know, they're going to party, they're going to the movies, they're going to eat, whatever is the case. So you wanna have that. You wanna be with what that one entry, only one entry. You wanna have that system as up and running as much as you can. So that's why I always advise you have one entry unit. Please get a uh, try to get a, a a double printing capabilities. Right here we see the regular um, the regular uh, models. This is this would be our uh, exit units, and you can see there's no printers over here, but the QR is on top of this unit. So when you get your ticket, you present your ticket right under this, and the system will detect your present and light up the QR reader. Here you can see on the exit unit on the regular, we see the the option to pay on exit. So right here you have your credit card reader, like it says over here, car in, car out. So let's we can we could have if the technology is available in the country. We could have a credit card reader on entry and credit card reader in exit. And the idea of this basically your access your, your access ticket would be your credit card. And what happened is the system will read the 
the chip on your credit card and that generates a PIN, a unique code. So that PIN number becomes your, your ID number inside the parking lot. So by the time that you leave it, you must show the same exact credit card. So in that way, they can the, the, the system will be able to read that that PIN code from your from your chip from your credit card, and that way it knows it's you, and it, it will be able to calculate the rate for you know for for how long you stay in the premises and so forth. As I mentioned before, all of them they offer the online offline operation, and then is this in this product family we can offer you. Not only the QR code uh, with a paper roll, with a thermal paper roll with a QR code, but also we can have the fan fold technology installed, but only, only on the regular units because we will, in order to implement the fan fold uh, style of tickets, we need to install a uh, what we call a automatic ticket transporter, and this transporter is is quite big, so that's why we need the extra space, and that's why it's only able to be installed on a uh, regular units. And then uh, um, in our printers, the printer for the thermal roll, they have they offer a much better um, uh, uh, quality. They don't require as much maintenance as the as the PGCT, so they they're more reliable in terms of uh, how long they can they can they can start working or they can stay working. Um, and the idea basically is just to have this type of system to increase your prof uh, profitability of the car park system one thing that i was going to mention uh, you know you're allowed to ask questions you're allowed to you know send any message for any question that you might have however we're going to respond to these questions we're going to answer the question at the at the end of the session okay please feel free to ask any type of question you might have all right let's talk about uh, automated pay stations and the cashless unit and basically the features are going to be pretty much the same however this guy right here on the left hand side is going to be our our full solution, which is going to take, uh, it's going to take coins er, and also notes right here. These are the area where they can take notes on coin. In this case, we only have the credit card reader. But anyways, we have, here we have a, a screen, an extra screen that can provide that you can actually, this is a screen that you can actually, um, you can offer to your customers in, in the parking lot in case of a mall. So you can actually sell, sell publicity over here. You can offer to the different businesses around the parking, I mean, around the, the mall, if, in case you have a this unit installed on a mall. Uh, you can offer this, and I'll send you this, I'll send you this space on my, on my screen so we can show publicity about your business. So that would be another way to provide an extra income. Or you can have, or you can show uh, instructions how you, the, the cashier, I've seen that happening. So we also have here our, our little pinhole camera, space for a pinhole, pinhole camera, in case you're going for that option. Also, we have here the button to be able to use the IP intercom. So you can have uh, audio only or audio and video. TFT touch screen right here that so the customer will be able to navigate through the different menus, different options, we'll pay here, pay there, and so forth. QR reader to be able to read your, uh, so we can read your, your QR code, your ticket. So we have the contactless, the, the proximity reader. We have two types of printer. One is for product printer or ticket, and this one is the receipt printer. They both work in redundancy mode, so if one breaks, the other one will take over and vice versa. Um, so we already spoke about the coin, uh, coin in other sector. And then we have here the EMB device, which is, you know, for, for payment with credit card, debit card, or, or whatever the matter is. Then we have the cashback option if you, uh, if you, uh, if you pay with coins and you need, and you're going to get exchange in coins. This will be this will be the area where the cash is where the, um, the the coins are coming out, and also if you have a, a no dispenser, this will be the area where the bills are going to be coming out. Um, pretty much the situation here with this cashier right here is pretty much about the same. However, it won't take payments on coins and notes. It won't take it's only credit card, and also well, because of the space, we won't be able to install a uh, the LED screen on top of it. But other other than that, pretty much the uh, the same features on this guy right here. Uh, internally, we have the the hoppers. We have the coin hopper, uh, the coin hopper, and all the coin, um, yeah, all the coin hoppers around here. As you know, in Europe, they're still using a lot of coins. So, in, so that's why we have this quite big coin hopper over here. We have different capabilities for coins. In this case, we also have the note reader over here. And then we have the note, uh, the note reader or recycle. We have we have two options. We have one note reader that only reads the notes, and we provide change to this guy over here. 
And also we have another option, which is a no reader recycler. So in this case, this guy over here not only will accept bills, but also will provide you at the same time with exchange. It will give you exchange in the same the same machine we have. So again, we have no reader in and no dispenser, or we have the no reader recycler. Basically, will provide will provide change in one in one situation, just one one device. We have the, the ticket printer right here. It's located in this area. This, will be, this, is, this is exactly the same ticket printer that we have on the entry unit. And then the receipt printer right here to print out the receipt for the customer, you know, when they're, you know, they pay and they want to have a proof of payment. So this will be the printer that will print out that receipt. Again, in case one of these fails, the other one will take over. So we offer, we offer a, a, a redundancy in this case. Here we mentioned we were showing you some of the measurements of the pay stations right here for your for your view and how we come how we able to comply with the standard. And right now we're gonna talk about the Gar PT. Gar PT is like we mentioned in last um in our last webinar. We were talking about these gates over here. Why are we mentioning these gates in this parking system? Reason being is because not only do you get a you know normally parking system they get a lot of use. So that's why we're gonna start recommending more and more and more these type of gates because at least with the PT we get at least we get two million seed cycles before before any error, before any any problem I have with this with these gates. And also for the high speed features. You know, remember that these gates also have their lights, you know, on the crown also in the arm as well, which will be used, which could be used as an indication, indicating device for the user, okay, if you don't go yet, yeah, now you may go. Um, we also have an, an advanced electronic card that allows uh, seamless integration with our LeanSafe software. And I was told there is a development in the, in the it's, it's almost out there to have fully integrated with this, this gate with the, with the parking system. So that's something that's coming, it's, it's coming along, it's coming along. But yes, we can actually use this gate uh, with the parking system. Here I'm showing you, I'm showing you basically a this concentrate on the, on the PT model, which is the one right here. Yes, this is the one right here. So uh, show you the measurements. So we offer a clearance, a clearance of 3.8 uh, meters. It's an IP of, uh, of 54. We can, can perfectly be installed on the outside. Due to the speed, we can actually have this gate. Um, it will help us out to somehow control the tailgating. Remember, tailgating is a big issue. Uh, so tailgating is basically when somebody goes you don't want to have somebody right behind the second vehicle otherwise you know they're, they're going to be tailgating so the, due to the speed of these gates it is a great it, it could be used as a great solution for that type of situation now the GARPT also this one um it has a me between uh me between side fail, uh, cycle failure of five million so this is even more robust than the old one uh, i'm going to say about the same about the same same speed as the other gate show over here so actually no it's faster i'm sorry let me take that back it's actually faster it's between one and two seconds and this gate is you know it's designed for 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 parking lots or situations where we're gonna get a lot of traffic and again a great great tool to uh for to control uh what we call the tailgating this gates actually we have a model completely uh dedicated to the to, it's completely designed to work directly with the parking system. It actually has already a uh, ground loop integrated with it. So in that way, you know, that ground loop will, will not only close the gate, but also work as a safety device. So we have a model that is pretty much ready to plug in, plug and play basically, to work with a Lindsay system or based on other words, the parking or software parking system. Again, we, wanna, we wanted to show you these gates because, you know, uh, as you can see, we have the articulation for installations on the roof. The speed is a great tool for, for tailgating. It's a, a smooth integration with our LinSafe software. We have the visual indicator. So in that way, you know, when the arm is down, we have the red light. When the arm is up, we have the green light. So it's a great combination of having this, uh, this, parking, um, this parking gate arm with, uh, with our parking system uh, LinSafe. This talk about our PKM medium line. This third line, as you can see, we have the color. This is standard color, the, the, the blue and the light gray. Um, it also works with a thermal paper roll. It's basically the same printer as the this one that we use on the on the PKE system. 
uh, the cashier station it has a TFT monitor, a touchless, of course, of course, a touch. I mean, touch screen. I'm sorry. Uh, we don't have a screen on the interior exit. We only have an LCD display for the terminals, which basically tell you hi, how are you, and go thank for coming. Something with like, extremely basic the messages that you're getting from from these LCD uh, ter uh, terminals. Uh, we have the same feature on the online offline operation. As I mentioned before, this is goes, if the communication goes down, they will be able to operate. Uh, compared to PKE, it has less features software wise. And of course, as you can see, not only the appearance, but you know, we cannot have the secondary uh, double printing capabilities over here. So that kind of limits the, the, the product itself. And of course, in the software, there's a lot of less features that if you wish to add, of course, that's going to be you know, more and more money they want you. The more and more, um, you have to invest a little bit more, of course. Uh, and then system of a very low maintenance and because it's using the same type of printer that we're using with the PKE. So it's, we offer a better rate of, of functioning of this, uh, this printer, less rate of uh, printers going down. Let's talk about our, our software. It's called Lince. The software is called Lince. And uh, the main feature for the software, it could be either locally hosted or web ho or, or cloud hosted. It's a web browser enabled, any browser in anywhere. So if you have the Lince uh, cloud base, you can actually log in from anywhere. As, you know, you log into your cloud application and you see all the what's going on with the parking system, worst case scenario. You can always have, a, if you have the locally hosted uh, server, you can always use tools such as LogMeIn or, or TeamViewer to log in into your system and you know, basically do a real time monitoring from your devices. As mentioned before, also we have the multi parking uh, view, which I'm going to show a little bit of screen on how that works. Um, so we have the multi tenant services, access on country, different different parking according to authorization levels. In other words, you can have different different types of operators. You have the operators, you have the supervisor, you have the owner, and you have of course the SAT, which is you know factory. So each one of these profiles we have a different um, different access rights. Not everybody's going to have the same access right. So in that way, different people can see different, uh, different, uh, what you might call it, different, um, different uh, access, level access. So right here, we have our parking system. We can have a uh, um, manual cashier. You can have handheld POS working as a uh, payment devices, signaling. You enter your exit. In this case, we're showing some sort of camera. It could be a it could be an LPR camera in your automated pay station that could either go into your local server if you have a locally hosted uh, um, solution, or we can actually have a, a computer that will allow the communication between your local parking system to the web based uh, system per se. So you can have it both ways, either locally hosted or web uh, web web web-based technology per se uh, here we show you some of the this is how the, the screen will, will look if you're doing the if you're deciding to go with a with a um with a lince web app in this case is how i show this this is will be this will be how i was going to present to be presented to you in, on a on a real time it's, of course you're going to have the, the cctv camera in order to see this this type of picture and also, of course, you will be able to get to create a report because all the information is going to be right there for you to be able to to create your 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 own statistics, reports, and so forth. And then the multi parking. So basically, the multi parking works this way. So let's say, for example, this parking one up to number five. So you have parking one in the east, west, central, north, and south per se, right in the city. So basically, each parking lot is going to have its own server. Or it, yes, on each, each own server, which these servers are going to be reporting to the to the PGM, which is the management report, and then to the PCM, to the multi multi uh, multi parking control poles. So all these machines are going to be descending this data to this guy over here, and this guy, the PGM, the guy sitting in this computer, he will be able to basically monitor each one of these. And if there is an issue in this, 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 or this parking. He will be able to provide you with a remote support, you know, sitting from the confidence of his office. And in fact, a person can call, let's say, for example, he got a problem with an entry unit on this parking lot. Hey, listen, I pressed the button, I didn't get a ticket. So this guy from here can actually go and sort of do the call from the from the 
I be, you know, I be in our comm, talk to this guy, and you know, he can actually log in on the entry unit and just basically help this guy out to get his ticket and access the premises. And this UCM will be the computer where all this data will be stored for you know reporting, management, for management to you know do their 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 reporting and loss, profits and loss situations and so forth. Uh, what else? Here, I'm going to show you the interface, how it will look like. And what you can see over here are the different parking lots. Well, this guy over here is very loaded because, as you can see, he's, he's got a lot of different parking places. So right here, you see all the different parking places. Red and green uh, is basically um, occupied and available places, available, is available spots, terminals. Right here, you can see every single one of the terminals. Let's say, for example, He's looking at Marina Port right here. So Marina Port, you have three, four automated pay stations. You have three entry units, two exit units, plus these access doors. If he clicks on another place, you're going to see a whole different configuration over here. So it basically shows you in real time what's going on and what, is, uh, what do you have on each location. And right, for example, right here in, in this uh, in this pay station, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little guy over there. So that guy over there is somebody paying. It's actually somebody doing some sort of transaction on this, on this uh, terminal right here. Um, you have the terminals, parking status, whether or not it's operating, the parking occupancy. This is all your statistics. So right here, you can see how many rotation users you have in your premises. Rotation are the people who comes in and out, in and out, they just get a ticket. And then you have your, your monthlies or your, exactly, your, your monthlies, right? So in that way, you can, and you have different categories. It could be company one, company two, company three, and you might have different spots reserved for them. So all this data is gonna, gonna get together and it's gonna show you these occupancy levels on, on, a, on, a, on a graphic way. This one is more on a, on a realistic way. Right here, multi-function. This area over here, you can actually, they're looking at the at daily. What the daily means, you're gonna see over here, every single transaction that happened in this parking lot. So if somebody is coming through entry one and entry two, that's going to reflect over here. If somebody's paying over here, that's going to reflect, reflect over here. So every single lot that is happening in the parking lot is reflecting over here. Of course, you can have different options. You can see logs, you can see errors. You can actually see the terminals. You will be able to see the screens of each terminal shown over here if you decide to go with these options. Right here with that, we have an uh, uh, alerts. Any Problem that might have in the parking premises is going to be shown over here. And here we have events. Any event that happened on the parking lot is going to show in this case. So basically, from this one screen, you're going to be able to, you, you can actually monitor every single one of your parking premises. And you can see actually exactly what's happening on each device. Right here, we can actually we can go even down more levels of, uh, of supervision. If you double click on any of this unit, you will get a screen like this one. In this case, they're showing a uh, an automated pay station. In the pay station, they, they double click on the patient, which is number four, which will be this one over here. They double click on that one, and they can actually see um, if there's an error, they can see an error over here, an error report, and when happened, and this the status of the error, and you know the alarm type and the subcode. So in that way, you can help a tech to troubleshoot that. The other thing would be you can get a report for a uh, from the payments, how much money your automated pay station is doing. If there was a collection, there hasn't been a collection, and so forth. You can get a uh, you can get reports out of this machine basically from from these properties uh, from the, the property screen that you can see over here. Uh, one thing we can all we can we can have not only on multi parking, but we can have it for you know for single parking is a LPR system. The LPR system is basically a license plate recognition system. Uh, what this tool is basically help us out to increase the security level on our parking premises. Basically, when somebody, excuse me, comes into the premises, presses a button, if we have an LPR system, the system, the cameras are going to be able to read this, this, uh, these characters. It's going to process the image and we're going to put it on a format that our Lindsay software is going to be able to read the camera, I mean, the license plate. And then that number right there is going to be, as you can see over here, it's going to be attached. It's going to be um, linked to this to this ticket over here. So you can see over here, type of uh, ticket. You can see the code on the ticket, uh, what it was generated, 
what type of terminal, the uh, date and time of entry, and then you get uh, the license plate reading. So that's something you can. Those are, those are the type of reports that you can pull from your from your uh, from the system, the system itself. Uh, license plate recognition system. What do you get with a license plate recognition system? Not only you can increase your security levels. In other words, let's say for example, um, this guy over here came in with this white car, but it turns out that he's a thief, right? And he goes and you know he gets a ticket, get into the premises, and he's living on this car. And you know he goes out to the exit unit, he shows the ticket. But guess what? Our system is not gonna you know it's gonna read the ticket, but the license plate cameras are gonna see that. Oh, listen, you have two different license plates. So the system is going to recognize, it's going to show an alarm. Let's say, for example, hey, listen, this guy came with this car and he's living on this car. So with this picture, you can actually confirm that this guy was trying to steal the vehicle. The, the ticket doesn't belong to that, that, uh, that vehicle right there. The other option would be the blacklist. What do I mean with blacklist? You can have a list of people you just don't want in your premises, period, for some reason. So what you can do, you register that license plate in your in your database. So Mr. Mr. Ming comes to your parking lot, he pulls into the entry unit, and you know, we have registered his license plate. He won't be allowed in the premises because we have him on the blacklist. That would be another um another uh security layer in case that we want to use the, the license plate readers, right? So right here is basically more or less how do we have them. We we're normally going to have uh, the license plate reader on the entry, but also in the exit. So in that way, you can register what's coming in, and then you're registering or you're keeping track of what is going out of your parking lot. Uh, this, depending on the license plate, uh, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the brand or manufacturer that we're using, these cameras, they, they're full IP, right? They're full IP. Um, they, can, they can be either connected directly to our to our main software, or depending on the manufacturer, again they will they they, they will be connected to a, an external computer, where is a, where the OCR software will be installed, and then this computer will talk to our system, and just basically exchange information. So again, that's depending on the manufacturer. We actually currently we use we have uh, as far as I know we have three brands. That were fully integrated. We have a uh, Servition, which is a French uh, company, and they have their uh, the OCR is integrated in the camera. We also have Quercus, which is a uh, company from Spain. Quercus, they also have the OCR integrated in their in their cameras, and then we also work with Innova. Innova, they have they don't have their OCR integrated in the cameras, but they have an OCR, an external OCR. That's the type of camera that requires an extra computer. And you know they will process the images. The images through the, I mean the the, the the CCTV camera takes the images, transfer the images to the OCR, and the software is able to to uh, is able to uh, um, to process the images and get the, the and transform the license plate or the image on the light on the, the took, get the license plate and make that into uh, something that our parking system can can read so other thing other feature for the license plate uh other advantage of having license plate they say for example somebody lost a ticket they tell you listen my license plate number is so and so and so so you can actually by the license plate you can find that ticket what the person came in you know you, you can actually reprint that ticket and then guidance systems what do we do with the guidance system basically is uh like the name says it's a guidance system it basically it helps you out to have a more efficient movement of users within your premises. Imagine if you're getting into a mall. So in this mall, you have to say, for example, all these parking lots over here. So if you want to find a parking spot, you will, have to, you will basically have to go through each one of the different lanes in order to be able to find a spot. Or if we have a guidance system, well, guess what? You already know that you don't have to go through file one, file, uh, column one, two. You got to go to three and hurry up because there's only one place available. Or perhaps you might want to go to the other to the parking number two or the other the other level. So that's it, it allows you to 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 have a more efficient movement of vehicles all around your premises. So you you know vehicles in, vehicles out, vehicles in, vehicles out. That's the idea. So it's more efficient. So you have more users coming in that will translate into more revenue because you want to have you know people going in and out, in and out, in and out. So that's basically the advantage of having a uh, guidance system. Our system basically works this way. So we have our sensors. They work with uh, ultrasound sensors. Basically, they will, you know, measure the sound 
the tiny takes from the sensor to the ground and bounce back. So they will measure that and how, that's how we know that a, a, a spot is taken or not. So we require one sensor per place. That's why it's important for us to know if somebody hey, listen, I want to have a guidance system. Well, you know, Mr. Customer, we need a, a we need the drawings of the parking lot. We show the exact uh, distribution, how the, the, the places are going to be, because we need to guess, we need to estimate how many sensors we're going to be um, implementing for this solution. And well, we have all the different sensors. We have uh, our display. And these wires are coming to a, um, to a device that basically concentrate all the information coming from all these sensors. And then these devices over here, they will send that information to the server. And this little server over here can easily talk to our main server from Lindsay and they will interact both. So you will be getting an exact count of how many places and where are the empty spaces in all your, your parking premises. Um, again, increase the uh, car park turnover, energy saving, because you can actually have the system connected to a, to a lighting system, to a lighting system. In that case, so if you don't have anybody on, let's say, for example, this is level two, but you don't have anybody on level three, you know, if, you, uh, if you're able to connect your, your light system to your power system to our, to our uh, navigation, so where you'll be able to, you know, as long as I don't have anybody on level three, I'm going to power off the lights. So that way you're saving energy. But anyways, that's basically the, the advantage, one of the advantages to have a, a parking guidance systems. And then uh, let's talk about really quick about the, um, the, the parking, the, the, the on-street uh, parking meters. As the name is saying, it's, uh, these are meters that are installed in the streets. They basically work independent. They have a uh, solar panel, the battery power and they are able to manage a series of spots, already assigned spots. Right here, they're managed through, a, a, it's called Tempo Enterprise, and it's hosted, hosted on the cloud. You basically, you, you will get a, a, you'll get a login and password. You can log in into your, your, your account and see all your meters and how are they doing, whether they're green, they're yellow or red, and if they're making money or not for you. Uh, we can actually be easily integrated with uh, cloud control and form an application, whether it's our apps or third-party apps. You're more than welcome to develop your app if you need to do so. Remember, we are uh, we are we we can offer you web services or APIs in order for you to write your own your own enforcement software. Uh, like it says over here, it's web uh, it's hosted on on the cloud. It's a SQL Server database, user-friendly interface. Right here, you can see the, the green dots. Those are the different parking meters in the city. You, this, this is the actual view. So you will have like a, it's like a Google Map uh, interface and you can see these are the street where you have your meter located. You can see right here, we have something in, in yellow and we have something in red. Green is good, green is making money for you. Red is down, so it's something that has to be taken care of. So you can monitor from your computer and have one of your um, uh, one of your guys, hey, listen, Mr. Tech, I need you to go to this side because the meter is red. Actually, if you click on that meter, in this area over here, it's not very clear, but in this area right here, you can actually see the error that the system, the, the device sh uh, it was showing at the moment that it went down. So you can actually tell your tech, hey, listen, I need you to bring this and this and this spare parts. So in that way, you can bring this uh, device up and running. And the yellow one is an alarm. It doesn't mean that the meter is down, but it needs attention. So it could be, I don't know, uh, battery going low, low in paper, or perhaps, hey, I have too much money on my coin hopper, so I need to come here and take your money away. So that could be one of the, the alarms that you can get over here. You can print reports like you can see over here. You can custom make your reports, add, delete columns, so in that way you can get the data exactly that you need. And this is the interface that shows how you will log in into the system. The way it operates, basically, you have your parking meters over here. They go through a it reports to the <clears throat> to the tempo to the tempo cloud application, and then you can monitor remotely. You can monitor remotely, monitor your system, and see what's going on at each given time. You can actually change rate on the spot. You can change um, configurations. I mean, everything could be done remotely. In fact, we have a customer that he has uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few meters, and he has this, this. This customer has his meter. Let me see if he's, he's in the meter today. No, I can give you an example. All right, he can actually. Uh, he, what he does is he has his meters around uh, 
around a uh, baseball stadium. He's located in Canada. So every time he's got a schedule of the, of the baseball games, so every time there is a, a home baseball game, he basically goes the day before. He schedules the he schedules the um, the rate change, and at midnight on the spot, the system automatically will send the new configuration. And the next day, he's going to be making sweet money because he basically duplicates the rate when he has uh, when there's a game in town. So that's that's how one of the advantages of having this. In fact, that guy is living here in Miami now. He operates everything from here he, from here he, he monitors his his meters when there's a problem with one of the meters he called his text in canada hey i need to go to this site fix the fix the, the meter and uh you know the technician on the other side can lie because he's being monitored by the web application so he's he's he's, he's doing very well let's just put it that way in regards of the meter features solar panel right here we have an internal battery which is being which is being uh, charged by the solar panel over here, touch screen, uh, touch screen right here. But you can see your basically show your rates. You can actually just hold the whole screen to guide you. Here we have the coin coin acceptor uh, or a proximity reader, or in this case the proximity reader. Um, what else do we have over here? Internally, there is a modem that allows you to commu communicate via wireless with a. Uh, uh, with the Temple Cloud app, with the Temple Enterprise application, basically, and you can actually set up your meter to synchronize with the with the with the cloud application every certain amount of hours, or it will happen in real time when you're doing a credit card transaction. Again, you can pay with uh, uh, coins, bills, credit card, proximity cards, any um, payment method you want to implement. In fact, if you want to implement uh, third-party apps. You can do it as well. The third party app can talk to our to our, our cloud based operation and then they will synchronize and nobody will get a ticket because you know the system didn't register, register that. The, the the system prints out a QR code so in that we can have more and that way we can have more information if we need so. Uh, but right now it's being uh, it prints out a, a QR code. What else? What else? What else? It's resistant to extreme weather and vandalism is a certified. And what else can we say about the system? Is you know pretty pretty nice looking. This system. Uh, these are the integration with the different payment providers that we are integrated with. So we can, you know, if, if the solution is available in your country, we can always work with any of these guys. And this is more or less how the system works. I already explained that we have the the, the face we can change them, the different method of payments and. Uh, so that's, I explained already this, this before, the way it communicates and it works. And then apps, you can, you're free to use our app as long as you know, and we can integrate with your local regulation, we can use our, our app or you're more than welcome to develop your own app. We will provide you with uh, either more services or APIs for you to develop your own app. And then uh, basically the way it works, you will have a, uh, in this case, you can have a, uh, a, uh, it could be a tablet, or in this case, a smartphone that will read the license plate. You know, this guy scan the, the license plate. This will go back to the web application, verify whether or not he's still within the you know the time that he paid for. He's, if he's within the time, he's good to go. Otherwise, he will get you know a message between this printer and this printer, and it will print out a like piece of paper, more or like you know, more likely looking like this. And you won't like this piece of paper in your windshield because. It's gonna say you have to pay this amount of money because you you know exceed your 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 paying time or, or your pay time. Again, we can integrate with any uh, any third party application. We provide you with the with the right uh, uh, APIs. So your your local programmers or yourself, you can do this this integration with the system. A few reference all around the world in regards to the parking meters and reference in regard of the. In regards of the um, off street applications, right here. So we're pretty much all around the world, as you can see. We have a good reference out there. And now we're open to the session of QA. If you have any questions, feel free. We have a question over here Giovanni Venegas Can we integrate the license plate recognition system with an access control system? The answer is yes, you can do that as long as your access control system can read that information that's coming from the cameras. The answer is yes, it can be done. 
And then can we get this presentation, Giovanni? Yes, we'll be coordinated with marketing to send you the PDF of this presentation. Anybody else out there have a question? Let me see. For some reason, we cannot hear better. But anyways, thank you everybody once again for joining us. Uh, my name is Jose Guillen, uh, Project and Engineering Man Manager for, for Cami Americas. I'm glad you were able to join us. And we'll be around here. Thank you very much and have a great day and stay safe, please. Bye-bye.